Martin Odegaard is only 23 years old. This fact surprised me so much at a double and then triple check it. He's one of those players who feel has been around for a lot longer than he has. For me, Ruben Neves at Wolves is another one. He turned 25 earlier this year. I, rather embarrassingly, thought he was in his 30s. The reason for my surprise with Odegaard, I think comes from him having entered the football main stage at the tender age of 15 years old by signing for Real Madrid for 2.3 million in 2015. Around that time, he was often likened to Lionel Messi. At least he was in the, um, Daily Mail. But I remember more serious sources making similar comments. The promise of great things has surrounded Odegaard for many years. But at Real, things never really got going for him. While he scored five goals and got eight assists in 58 appearances at Real Madrid Castilla, Real Madrid's reserve team, he only made eight league appearances in the first team, five of which were from the bench. He got no goals and no assists. Most of Odegaard's career at Madrid was spent on loan. First at Herenveen, I think that's how you say it, then Vitesse Arnhem, Real Sociedad, and then finally Arsenal, who made the move permanent in August 2021. In his loan spell at Arsenal during the 2021 season, he made 14 league appearances, scoring one goal and getting two assists. Arteta summarised Odegaard's performance that year by saying, he made us better. We needed more options, alternatives, creativity, and players that can be morals for this football club. He certainly brought that creativity last year in his first full season as an Arsenal player. In the 21-22 season, he made 36 league appearances, scoring seven goals and getting four assists. It was his second most productive season of his career. The first being his spell at Vitesse Arnhem in the 2018-19 season, where he scored nine goals and got 12 assists. But it's not just his goals and assist numbers where things are beginning to bloom at Arsenal. Last season, Odegaard was sixth out of all Premier League players for through balls, making 19 of them. He was only one behind Kevin De Bruyne and one ahead of Mo Salah. For key passes last season, he was fourth with 76, with only De Bruyne, Fernandes, and Alexander-Arnold ahead of him. These numbers put him in great company, but interestingly, they're nearly all older. De Bruyne is 31 years old, Salah 30, and Fernandes is 27. Only Alexander-Arnold is on the younger side by also being 23. It bodes well for him and Arsenal that he's posting these numbers whilst being only 23. On the eye, he looked like a very good player last year, but it's digging into these numbers that I think better reveals his burgeoning influence. Off the pitch, Arteta also spoke very positively about Odegaard last season. He thinks about the team before himself. He had a period at the start where he wasn't playing. He was the first in training, the last to leave, asking the right questions, why he wasn't playing, what he had to do. He was always listening. He was always helping his teammates. In the system Arteta uses at Arsenal, and with Martinelli, Jesus and Saka in front of him on the pitch, it wouldn't surprise me if Odegaard has even more impact in the coming season. While he won't be the new Messi, he might be Arsenal's new captain. In July 2022, Arteta said, Martin has a lot of qualities that we want as a captain. Whether this happens remains to be seen, but I think an improving Martin Odegaard is likely to have a big influence on how well Arsenal do in the coming season.